Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin, and I had just today installed Ubuntu 18.04 on my Windows 10 system. And this is how it comes up by default now under the uh, Windows 10 uh, unified uh, terminal shell that you can get out of the Microsoft Store. I made uh, Ubuntu 18.04 my default but it is a brand new fresh install out of the store and doesn't have any of my typical stuff in there. So I figure I'm going to do a few things. First, as the default, I think it belongs at the top of the menu. So we'll start with that. Go into settings. And this brings up VS Code. If you haven't edited preferences on a terminal yet uh, and you don't have VS Code, the first time you try, it will auto install this. And there you have it. These are all the things that determine how your uh, terminals come up. And I believe the order that's given here is the same order that's used in the menu. So I am going to find my 18.04, which is a very small entry compared to the other ones now. And this is uh, JSON, so you definitely have to pay attention to your opening and closing parentheses. Notice how I would be leaving a hanging comma there. Don't want to do that, so I get rid of that. And I go up to the first entry at that level of indent, and you can see it starts there. So we put ours in, and we go to the correct outdent, and we put a comma in, and we save that. And if we didn't mess it up, we should be able to minimize that, maybe even see in real time, there you go. It's now the top entry. I'm going to see if I can change the names of some of these other ones, uh, whether the name has to be the exact name of the distro because there's more information I'd kind of like to put on the menu. So it's using a GUID for the uh, entry, so it seems to me like I should be able to uh, put WSL uh, two here, and on the next one, 16.04 on WSL uh, one. And let's just save those two entries for a second and go back here and see if these uh, changes are reflected. Very nice, very nice. I think I want parentheses around the WSLs. And uh, I'll probably change the real name in the distro uh, eventually, but for now the GUIDs are making sure it's pointing to the right thing. Uh, PowerShell doesn't feel like it should be, well, it almost feels like it should be at top this point because there's some things you can't avoid uh, using PowerShell for. So I'm going to put this uh, second one down because my two most frequently used ones are uh, now going to be 18.04 and PowerShell for doing various things that are difficult to accomplish uh, on Ubuntu right now. So my default, the PowerShell, uh, that old one, this used to be my regular one. This is 16.04 on WSL2, so let's take care of that. That's on WSL1. No, that's on WSL2, that's right. This used to be my everyday good one, which uh, deserves a higher spot than where it's at right now. So let's take care of that. Leaving Azure and uh, yeah, leaving Azure at the bottom. That's, that looks about right. The CMD at the bottom. Uh, this one here. Okay, main, PowerShell, a WSL1, this is a better version than that. 
So there, I believe I have the, uh, the drop-down menu order uh, that I uh, prefer. Control shift one gives, or just control T gives me a new one of these. And this gives me my PowerShell. And let me test these because changing those names should not keep it from running. WSL1. And finally, the uh, PowerShell, where I can do WSL hyphen V hyphen L hyphen V. And there we have it. We have three versions of Ubuntu running. I think I'm going to change the uh, names of the actual distros here so they're consistent. You can see they're both um, 16. Uh, 0.04 is the way I have here, but that'll be for another video. This video uh, took care of the drop-down menus on uh, Windows Terminal to get them more to my liking. For the sake of completion, there is an old command prompt from DOS. Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe.